So, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be playing some off-tank Nando. This is going to be casuals, obviously. All right. Um, I, I'm still going to go for morale. Morale is great on Fernando. Come on. I said peaches. Peaches, 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 peaches. Mm. There she goes. Woo! How do you hold it, 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 hold it. Not yet. Leave her alone. He's going to be going that way, right? And there he goes. Hey, hey. Off we go. Yeah, shoot me. Shoot me. Shoot me. I dare you. Yeah, shoot me. Hey, fireball. Come on, the boys. And whoop. Oh, didn't hit anything. Unfortunate. What are we going to do here? Hey, here the heart. I see you. Ah, he dashed away. Come on, Amani. Ah, uh, didn't hit anybody else. If that would have been a triple fireball right there, if I was sooner than that. And boom. Oh, you. Oh, 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 oh. This tire is clueless. Clueless tire. Uh oh. When this drug is old, we will. No. Okay, I'm gonna ult before that, forget that. Well, he's gonna ult, but I'm dead. Unfortunate. Did he kill anybody? Did he ult? Did he ult? Did he ult? He did ult, but cancelled it, apparently. Hmm, interesting. I'm gonna go nimble, actually. I wanna move around faster than that. And I think Lethality with Fernando off tank. Mm. 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 So good and tasty! Huh, dead. Hey, yo. Hello, shoot me. Moonwalk. Move fast. Oh my god, they're there. Hi, money. Oh my god, she shot me. Oh my god. Oh my god, there's a Shalin. And he's dead. Ladies and gentlemen, best play of the year. And we're gonna die to the fire. Let's go. Unfortunate, but we got speed enough to outrun the fire. I'm just gonna casually walk over the fire like, hey, I'm so fast this don't burn. Okay, who fell out of the map? That would have been Dumba. And how would I know? I saw the 818, eight, an 818 damage there. And then we saw the timers that represent the, the, the deaths, right? Did he die? Did he die? Did he die? He didn't die. Oh, wow. Get him, Rump. Get him. Get him. Nine, eight, oh, I'm fortunate. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Unfortunate. It's a longer game. More XP. But yeah, essentially, if you see a number of like a big number, a red number for some odd reason, that would mean somebody just fell out of the map. And you're able to tell that they suffered that amount of damage. Like, that's the amount of HP they had for some reason. I don't don't ask. Have you, have you guys ever noticed on the Onslaught map of the Marauders port, uh, you know, the Dredge map, where there's, like, sometimes, like, numbers of, like, 10,000 or 1,000 or whatever it is, like, two numbers of those on the, like, the bottom side inside of the map? Have you ever seen that? Like, it casually shows up? Yeah, so, essentially, what that is, it's actually a bug. Uh, not really a bug, it's more like a mistake, uh, where there's two Makoas for some reason all the way down there. And they casually die every once in a while, and you're just like, what? And why Makoas? And why 10,000 or 1,000 or whatever the hell that is? Oh my god, she ulted. Oh my god. Insane. And now you can't lower me below this. <laughs> I just used the bug. It was totally intentional, unintentional because I didn't notice that the ray was gonna ult. But apparently, and and I'm 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 scared of even to admit this because I feel like people will probably abuse it. But um, there's a little bit of a bug. 
where if uh, Fernando and Ray ult at the same time, you know how like you're with the Fernando ult, you cannot go below 1,500 1, HP? Yeah, if the Ray ults you while you're ulting, uh, it raises that limit of 1,500 to pretty much max. So you can just ult and be full HP with Fernando, essentially, and that's disgusting. I've seen people do that intentionally. I did it completely by accident, but you understand my point. Oh, I'm going here by myself. I, I thought there were people behind me. You! Double fireball. Oh. Damn, dude. That was Dumba ult. Almost hit me there. I'm pretty sure that Dumba is playing damage. Oh, he dead. Why they went without a tank, I wouldn't know. It's casuals, bro. It's like... Wee. I'm dead. Let's go Lethality. Lethality, and... I don't think we're gonna need any resilience. The Shaolin isn't even playing blue... Like, explosive arrows, whatever. Um, I do already have morale. That's fantastic. Some extra speed that can stacks up with the Menishing Returns. The uh, Hot Pursuit, you know? No way. Unfortunate. But their entire team, you saw, you saw that, right? Like, I'm, I'm not kidding. <laughs> their entire team, you know what? Let's do it. I don't think money is going to let us, but let's try it. That's a bit of a secret there. This mount is super silent. Enemy killing spree. Staying alive? No! <laughs> Damba, I hate you. We got some ult charge right there. Let's go. Uh, did we die? Oh, we died. Unfortunate. But yeah, there's, uh, this mount is super silent. So if anybody has it, I advise you to play with this mount every single time. It is super, super silent. I can't count the amount of times that people have ninja pushed or just slide all the way to the back line of my team when using this mount. And I've always used it for a very long time, both for, for two reasons. I love it, and also it's very silent. It is insane. Um, but yeah. But Fernando got a bunch of different changes uh, a while ago, and I still don't see a lot of people playing damage Fernando. Off Fernando, right? Like, I see everybody going uh, ages Fernando, and I'm just here s sitting, you know, looking at poor Fernando, thinking... The, glu the glu good old glory days. And nobody is bothering themselves. Can we do this? Can't see them. So there's also this bug that you can see the names of the monies when they ult. As you saw there. And it's quite unfortunate. What's up, Dumba? So, yeah. Just doing a little sneaky little emote there, over there. I hear this shot. Hey, Sha, what's up? Let me shower you with love. You see this speed, guys? Do you see this speed, guys? Come here. Let me talk to you. Look at me here, look at me. I'm Ray, I'm jumping and I'm really fast. Let's go, baby. Let's go full atality. Oh. 
Hey! Oh! Die, 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 please. Thank you. Wee! I'm super fast. I am super, super fast. And bye. Oh, I thought they were going to go back there. Hey, Talus. Oh, I was going to try to help you because I, I thought I had my shield, but I didn't. It is quite unfortunate. Got some speed. Got some speed. Got some speed. Got some speed. Speed boost. Oh, she used it on me. Oh, nice. Thank you, Ray. You're such a doll. We got that kill. We got that kill. We got that kill. I'm just gonna go here in the back line. Just cover their their spawn so they don't. I got you. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Damage. Damage. Splank. Nando. Supremacy. Best Nando. Screw ages. I am sick and tired of looking at goddamn Fernandos with just holding their shield sitting on point like some dorks. Cringe ass playstyle, man. Like, I swear to God. Hate it with a passion. I'm even going to be honest. I prefer Formidable to Aegis. I don't care what people are going to say. They're going to be like, oh my god, a YouTuber is telling people to, to, to play weird styles. My guy, shut up if you don't know anything about the game. You're just playing whatever you see everybody else playing. You, oh, in meta, it's safe. Yes. And yet, somehow, I grab Fernando, play with different talents, and somehow still make it. I wonder why. So this one gives you two charges, complete CC immune, plus extra damage, and the only downside, it increases the it increases the time, right? So now you think about it. Okay, so what if I take a loadout, let's say, that could potentially reduce the cooldown of my shield, plus this that would also uh, reduce the cooldown of the, the charge, even though I think I have here one. Where's that one that I had that... Uh, I thought I had one here. I, I There's a lot that you guys can even do, which is if you hit fireballs, you can reduce the cooldown of the of the charges. But either way, it doesn't matter. Just go with this. Go with full Kronos. Right? It's more than enough. You don't even need anything else. Right? You got two charges. You're going around. At this point, you got a shield of six seconds. You telling me that you can't dance for six seconds without a shield? There's tanks that don't have that downtime. Plus, Fernando can have his ultimate. Plus, CC immunity on his charge. Plus, you actually deal more damage. Plus, if they shoot your shield, they're reducing the cooldown of their next charge. Look at that. I already have a next charge, and the shield is halfway. Oh, you're going to break it? Okay. Look at that. And I got another charge, and I got the ult. Like, and I got my shield back again. And I've got the shield again. Yeah, cool it down. Boom. What's up? I've played so many times with this that it's insane. And somehow, I see people playing this and nothing else. Because why? Because they can just get it back and they can proc the cards all the time. Yes, that is a wonderful plus. But let me tell you something. In high helo, people will buy record. Good luck trying to keep your shield up for more than three seconds. That's all I'm going to say. Good value you're going to have there when your entire loadout is built around this crap. Okay? Good luck. So, that's just all I'm going to say. Fernando is an amazing off tank. Very powerful. His ultimate is one of the best ultimates in the goddamn, goddamn game. It's an ash, but it's, it's AoE for your entire team. It even has an exploit with Ray that I just told you about. It allows you to counter so many ults. There's a there's a Bomb King ult, counter it. There's a uh, there's a Sky ult, counter it. There's a Drogos ult, counter it. There's a there's a Vora uh, ult, just counter it. You know how how strong Fernando's ultimate is against Vora? Let me tell you a little secret. If he activates his ultimate and somebody's affected by the ultimate, Vora can't even target that person. That's it. She, it's not. Forget about the part that she can't kill. She can't even trigger the ultimate on somebody with that little white bar on top. That means that they're 
they're immune and cannot go below 1,500 damage. If Avora sees that happen before she even gets close to somebody, might as well cancel your ult. You're just wasting your time. That's it. This is how powerful Fernando is. And everybody is just keeps playing with this goddamn thing. This. This. Ice Mines with Scorch. My god. I. It pains me to see people do that. It pains me. Seriously. But hey. Each monkey on his tree branch, right? I'll just stick to mine. You guys stick to yours. All right. But that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, let me know if you got any s uh, cool loadouts I can try with Scorch and for Madavel. Screw ages. I, I don't really want to play that. I already play that enough when I have to because my team just keeps crying like little whiny babies. Because if I don't, they're going to report me. So that's more than enough. Um, so yeah. Let me know what you guys think down below about these talents. What do you think about this playstyle? Do you think also that ages is trash like me? Let me rephrase that. Do you also think that ages is trash just like I also think that it's trash? Because if I say it just like me, it means that, that it's trash like me. I mean, I'm trash. There's no problem there. But yeah. All right. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Until then, have a wonderful time. Bye-bye.